Lyndon here from Bad Ball Cricket. Guys, thanks for checking in for another one of my videos. And today, we're looking at the Spartan Michael Clark Limited Edition Batting Pads. And these are the pads that released for season 2015-2016. Alright guys, let's get into the review. These are the pads that were designed in conjunction with Michael Clark and so carry his name. They're also used by Michael Clark through that latter part of his career. Um, I believe the last two seasons of his career had this lime green uh, colour scheme, and so it was used for him for, through those last, um, last couple of seasons uh, while cap as captain. These guys, these are a test match quality pad, and that absolutely well and truly comes through with the protection. The exterior of the pad is a polyurethane coating, in underneath that are cane pieces, which is the more traditional construction. In behind that is high density foam. In behind that is more high density foam. In behind that's a removable high density foam sheet. In behind that is a fiber sheet. And then finally is your, uh, your lower density uh, foam uh, and then mesh on the, on the top there. So plenty of protection through that, through that pad. Coming up to the knee roll, we've got the three knee, uh, the three uh, horizontal knee pieces. Those are uh, stuffed with high density foam. In behind that is a fibre patella, uh, patella cup, so protection of the knee or, or of the patella. Then that's got a moulded contoured knee to wrap around the knee and give it a good solid protection. Again, uh, high, the softer density foams there around there as well. Coming up to the top hat guys, we do have the cane pieces there at the top and in behind that is high density foam before the pretty leery uh, Spartan design on the top of the, uh, or on the back of the top hat. Coming around the pads uh, again, or a little bit further guys, we do have the uh, padded straps. So these have got a mesh on the back of the strap and that is filled with some padding there, so good comfort in there. The middle strap is embossed with the Spartan, uh, Spartan logoing. And if you have seen some, if you have seen this product in, in stores, the top and the bottom strap actually came with a quick release tab. If you've seen my videos before, you will notice that I do remove those tab, those quick release tabs on my batting pads, and they're for two reasons. One of them, I have actually heard of guys being caught behind after it has flipped those quick release tabs, and the other reason is because I feel it makes the end of the strap too thick. And I find it doesn't come out of the buckle quickly enough for me. When I get out, I am quite frustrated at myself. So anything that helps me get my pads off sooner rather than later is much appreciated. Well, there's one final piece there on the straps. Is you will notice that for a top of the range pad, there is no padding on the straps. Now, in modern, most modern day pads have padded buckles. The old term buckles. The as for these for a top of the range pad don't have those. Something that probably you would expect from those. I personally don't like the padded buckles and I do either remove them or tuck them in on, uh, on my other pads. But that's probably something just to keep in mind. If you do like the padded, uh, padded buckles, they don't exist on the Michael Clark version. Other Spartan pads do have that padding on them. I have seen them on the most recent. That's the Spartan Diamond range. They do have padded buckles. So it's just this particular, that's just this particular range. Coming around the pads a little bit further guys, in onto the instep here is a full leather instep. Guys, generally one of the signs of the higher range product is having uh, leather in the instep because it is some, somewhere that does come in contact with your shoes pretty much all the time. And so they do, uh, you know, you, so having that in leather makes it a, the signs of a, of a good quality product. Well, one final piece to probably to mention on the padding guys is that there is actually the, what I refer to as the top of foot padding in here. Most pads sort of finish in line with this other one and there's no padding in there. Or they have one that leaves this section sort of relatively clear and has padding down the side here. So that's something else just to keep in mind. I have removed a bit of the Velcro on there because it was actually tearing my laces to shreds. I had Velcro right through here and that's where my laces would, would sit were up in here. So I have removed one of the sets of Velcro there to stop that from, a, from occurring. So another small customization there from me. Well, probably the final thing, piece to talk about here is that the actual um, top of foot logo is missing from these pads. So you'll notice from the, uh, the shot up here that the product when it was released did show or does have that top of foot 
uh, logo. Part of the ICC padding or logo restrictions on pads is limited to one logo on the front of each pad. And so what Michael Clark, right back from when he was with Slazinger, he preferred just the knee roll piece. So when I first got these pads, I thought that perhaps my hypothesis was that due to Michael Clark's retirement was actually a bit of a shock that Spartan actually released all of their products to market. However, this season, the thing that I have noticed is that Kookaburra especially have been releasing their Players Edition pads onto the market. And the way you can pick up the Players Edition pads from, from Kookaburra is they have on, on one pad they'll have the top of foot logo and on the other they'll have the knee, knee roll logo. As for the actual reason why these pads were, were released, uh, look, I'm not sure. I'm not affiliated with Spartan in any way to, um, to have um, the privy to, to that particular information. Well, as the final thing to mention here is around the build quality and the quality of the materials. I'm a little bit disappointed with these pads. Design, lightweight, and functionality is very, very good, but the quality of the materials I'm a little bit disappointed with. They did move to uh, a PU facing from a, a, a different product around about three or four years ago, and that's subsequently a little bit, well, it's more environmentally friendly, and so it consequently means it's not as hard wearing. However, this is a very, this, the actual gauge of material that's used in these particular pads is a lighter gauge than some other brands that I have seen recently. And so I am getting some wear patches here down the, down the side of this pad. And that's the, uh, that's the, down the arrow, and then down one of the cane pieces here on the other pad where the pads do brush um, against each other. So that's one of the slight criticisms I've got. It's also meaning that there is some, some ripping in the corners where there's a little bit of stress and some ripping around the actual Spartan logo as well. The other point of piece to discuss here too guys is just some of the finishing qualities during the manufacturing. You might be able to see that I do have just some slight fraying here and that's where the fabric hadn't actually been folded inside before it was sewn. They are a mass produced product so I guess you could say I'm being, I could be being a little bit picky here but just those finishing qualities like that aren't here. It's missing some stitches, some bits aren't quite right, and so they're just not quite finished as well as what some of the other products that are, that are on equivalent price point or there or thereabouts. Right, guys, the final thing that uh, I've been doing in a number of my videos lately is around giving the product a rating out of 10. Now, the criteria that I use there is essentially fit for purpose, build quality and customizations to, to actually get the product right for me. First point there was around um, um, fit for purpose. Absolutely, uh, the product marketed as the top of the range test match quality pad, absolutely agree with that. No, no question whatsoever in the level of padding. And it's also high density foam. I have been hit on the pad a number of times in the last 12 months, both, both uh, in games and training and I've not felt, you know, not felt a thing uh, from, from the pads. So absolutely fit for purpose. Regards to their build quality, as I mentioned before, a couple of bits and pieces with the, uh, the PU facing being not quite to that highest level of standard and the finishing not being brilliant, so a little bit of a let down there. And the couple of pieces here around, or, or the couple of pieces here around customization is removing those quick release tabs and also removing a bit of that Velcro to, uh, to get the product right so it wasn't tearing up my shoelaces is, is one slight um, fall down there as well. So, in a rating out of 10, I'm gonna give these guys a seven out of 10. Very much let down there by the, uh, the actual finish and the, and the, the, the quality of the materials uh, that, that we use there. Uh, otherwise, if it hasn't been for, if there's that ever so slightly increase in the, in the quality there, the product that I'd be quite happy to, to rate higher than that, than that seven out of 10. Alright guys, that concludes my review of the Spartan Michael Clark Limited Edition Batting Pads for Season 2015-2016. Guys, Spartan updates their range every new year. So in 2016, they did release the Michael Clark Legacy Edition. So the padding is very, very similar. Uh, the design is very, very similar for the Legacy Limited Edition pad. And the only difference there is around, or very much the, the difference is around the colour scheme has changed ever so slightly. And instead of being a piece that's, that's set inside the knee roll, it's actually more of an embossed piece over the top. Uh, I'll pop a quick picture up here of those as well. So they were the, the Michael Clark Legacy range that were released for, for 2016 um, New Year. So that was ranging through 2016 and, uh, and 2017. 
a number of retailers didn't or decided not to stock the Michael Clark stuff this year, basically due to the fact that he'd retired and was no longer part of the Australian cricket team. It was in, in the updated version for 2017, these, the Michael Clark range is now non-existent. Uh, so if you do see some Michael Clark stuff, it's likely to be on a pretty significant discount due to the fact that it's a discontinued line. One final piece from me before we head off from this video. If you are a long time watcher of Bat and Ball Cricket but not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it if you did hit that, uh, that subscribe button. Not only will my videos pop up in your subscription feed, but I personally actually get quite a thrill from the iPhone going off and it's another cricket fanatic or a cricket tragic, whichever you may be who has subscribed to Batball Cricket, so I'd really appreciate it if you, if, you did, uh, if you did do that. Guys, as with all of my videos, if you do have any questions or any comments, please drop those down into the comments bar and I'll reply to them as soon as I can. Alright guys, thanks for checking in for another one of my videos. This is Clinton from Batball Cricket, and I'll catch you again really soon. Bye for now.